Edward of Westminster was the only child of Henry VI with his queen and wife, Margaret of Anjou. Little is remembered about Edward, but in this documentary we try to uncover who was this heir to the throne during the War of the Roses. Edward was born on 13 October 1453 at the Palace of Westminster in London. Edward was the only son of Henry VI with his French wife, Margaret of Anjou. In August 1453, two months before he was born, Henry VI was taken ill with mental health issues. This may have been schizophrenia or inertia, but whatever the illness was would play out a dramatic and bloody course for English history. These events would lead to Richard of York, 3rd Duke of York, to state his claim to the throne. Although, Henry VI, was the son and grandson of Henry V and Henry IV respectively, there were those in the House of York who viewed Richard's claim to throne as strong as Henry's due to both being descended from children of Edward III. Henry throne though was only claimed by his grandfather usurping his cousin and true heir Richard II. Edward's father's ailment though would seek the House of York to destabilize the government. First they would attempt to claim that Edward was a product of an affair his mother had with either Edmund Beaufort, 2nd Duke of Somerset and James Butler, 5th Earl of Ormond. However, there would be no firm evidence to support these claim and his father would always publicly claim his paternity. Whilst he was one year old and his father was still ill, Edward was invested as the Prince of Wales at Windsor Castle in 1454. This would be another title Edward would be known as Duke of Lancaster and Edward of Westminster. The next year would see what would become known as the Battle of St. Albans, although the battle was more of skirmish than a battle with a very low casualty rate of less than 100. But politically it was a disaster for Henry as the battle was won by the Yorkist giving control to the Duke of York and the Duke of Warwick by making Richard of York the Lord Protector. In effect, this would make Richard regent for the kingdom due to Henry's illness. Henry VI though would be able to reclaim his throne in October 1459 at the Ludford Bridge in Shropshire. Henry and the Duke of Buckingham would push Richard of York and Richard Neville, Earl of Warwick into exile into Ireland and France, respectively. A year later in 1460, a seven-year-old Edward would face the Yorkist army again with both his parents at the Battle of Northampton. This time Edward and his family were defeated. This defeat it could have been avoided after the rout at Ludford Bridge, but the Lancastrians had failed to push home their advantage in the kingdom at the time. Edward would be forced to flee into Scotland via Cheshire and Wales with his mother, whilst Henry was captured again and taken to London. This time Richard of York, would be persuaded against claiming the throne for himself. He would though declare through the act of accord that himself or his heirs would ascend to the throne when Henry passed away, in effect disinheriting Edward. In Scotland, Edward and Margaret would reorganize Lancastrian support and rebuild the army with a number of Lancastrian barons and support from the Kingdom of Scotland. 